Science is constantly evolving as new technologies allow us to explore space and our own Earth in ways we never thought possible. In the past few years, there have been some fantastic discoveries that have rocked the world of astronomy and other sciences. These findings have shown us the fantastic and diverse universe we live in. This is truly an exciting time of discovery and exploration. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three exciting discoveries. Neutron star that rotates faster than a helicopter's blades. Back in 2013, a film released from NASA's space telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, displayed an incredible show of light that was created by a rapidly moving jet of particles from a fast-rotating neutron star. According to NASA, this film provides insight into the characteristics of some of the universe's densest matter. This neutron star in question, the Vela Pulsar, was formed by the collapse of a massive star and exists about 1,000 light-years away from Earth. Amazingly, the star that is about 12 miles in diameter rotates at a rate faster than that of a helicopter's rotor blades at more than 11 rotations every second. According to the new Chandra data, the star may be processing just like the wobble of a spinning top for an estimated 120 days as it spins. Interestingly, the Earth also processes while it spins, although at a much more extended period of 26,000 years. The slowdown of the Vela pulsar could be because the pulsar is no longer a perfect sphere or because the magnetic field that surrounds the pulsar influences the jet's shape. At the same time, the Vela pulsar may have deviated from being a perfect sphere by only one part in 100 million. Despite this slight difference, according to researcher Oleg Kargaltsev, neutron stars are so dense that even a tiny distortion like this would have a big effect. The data captured by the Chandra X-ray Observatory may have made it possible for the Vela Pulsar to become a continuous source of gravitational waves that could be used for testing Einstein's theory of general relativity. Although scientists are constantly solving new mysteries in space, science is a never-ending journey. The new data from the Chandra leads to more exciting secrets that will need to be researched. This story is only one of the many exciting revelations that has been made in the last few years. It's an incredibly exciting time in astronomy. Pluto has giant ice volcanoes that could hint at the possibility of life. As it turns out, secrets have been hiding on the dwarf planet Pluto's surface all this time. According to astronomers, Giant ice volcanoes have recently erupted with icy sludge. This area on Pluto is completely unique compared to what astronomers have seen in our solar system. This new discovery was made possible with NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, which captured photos of Pluto's moons and surface in 2015. These images were used to observe Pluto more closely than before and led to the discovery of two prominent peaks that were thought to be icy volcanoes. This speculation was further proved by clues of erupted ice lava found in the images. While we tend to associate volcano eruptions with hot lava, ice volcanoes or cryovolcanoes erupt with water ice mixed with other substances such as methane or ammonia. For years, astronomers have been searching for evidence of these cryovolcanoes on other solar objects like the dwarf planet Ceres and Saturn's moon Titan. As Pluto has been long suspected of having cryovolcanoes due to it resting on the frigid edge of the solar system's Kuiper belt, these photos provide more evidence for their existence on the dwarf planet. The eruptions of slush are also expected to keep their shape due to the average temperature of Pluto sitting at minus 387 degrees Fahrenheit. According to the author of the study, Kelsey Singer, the icy material was probably more like the texture of toothpaste when it first erupted out of the ice volcanoes. But due to the extreme temperatures on Pluto, the liquid water quickly formed massive domes found on the region. Due to the lack of impact craters in the area around the cryovolcanoes that are usually seen on Pluto's surface, 
it is suggested that the ice volcanoes were active about 100 to 200 million years ago, a relatively short time in the grand scheme of things. This recent activity indicates to astronomers that the volcanoes may erupt again just as volcanoes on Earth switched from dormancy to activity. Astronomers know that Pluto once had a subsurface ocean, and the discovery of these ice volcanoes points to the possibility that they may still be present. This possibility of a liquid ocean existing on Pluto increases the once 0% possibility of existing life on Pluto to a slim chance. As Singer points out, there are still a lot of challenges for any organisms trying to survive there. They would still need some source of continual nutrients, and if the volcanism is episodic and thus the heat and water availability is variable, that is sometimes tough for organisms as well. Despite the challenges, this slim chance has been a giant leap in the knowledge of what we previously believed about Pluto. Earth's core is leaking a surprising amount of ancient helium-3. Some discoveries require special tools to observe objects light years away. We sometimes uncover mysteries on our own planet. For example, according to researchers, Earth's core is leaking ancient helium, and they are still trying to figure out why. Helium has long been thought of as a potential nuclear energy source, but scientists are surprised to discover that Earth itself is made up of it. Another surprise is that there may be indications that Earth is older than previously thought due to this discovery. For Earth to have accreted this helium-3, it would have required our planet to form inside of the early solar nebula of the Sun. While the age of the Earth has long been debated by planetary formation theorists, this finding shifts the current understanding of how close in age the Earth is to our Sun. In a paper published in the American Geophysical Union, researchers suggest that helium-3 was mostly formed during the Big Bang and then entered into the Earth's core during the planet's formation. According to the lead author of the paper, Peter Olson, since the solar nebula only lasted a few million years, this incorporation of helium-3 into Earth signifies that our planet started to form very early in the solar system's life. A fascinating aspect of this story is how the Earth's core was able to retain helium-3. The researchers say it is because the Earth's core is not as vulnerable to large impacts compared to the rest of the Earth's system, and has been a liquid for much of Earth's history. The research team also suggests that about 2,000 grams of helium-3 leak out of Earth every year. And while geoscientists have long thought of the Earth's core as a closed system without mass exchange with the rest of Earth, they may now have to rethink that position. This is because helium-3 is now thought to have dissolved into the basalt from which Iceland and Hawaii were formed. One of the biggest questions to come out of this discovery is why helium-3 is leaking out of the Earth's core now. It is now up to the tireless work of scientists to uncover what is different about today compared to the other 5 billion years of Earth's history. The world of science is constantly expanding and changing, with new discoveries being made all the time. While it can be daunting to keep up with everything happening, it's also exhilarating to know that we are constantly learning more about our universe and what inhabits it. The pace of scientific discovery is accelerating, and it's an amazing time to be alive. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.